Hello friends, welcome. In this video, I have given the summary of The Kite Maker. The Kite Maker is a nice story written by a prominent writer Ruskin Bond. In the story, we have two major characters. One is Mahmood. He is an expert kite maker. And the other character is Ali. Ali is grandson of Mahmood. Mahmood lives with his son. Mahmood had two sons. One son lived with him and his grandson is Ali as we have already seen. The other son lives in Pakistan. The story opens with the mention of a street called Gali Ramnath and also a special mention to an ancient banyan tree because it is very symbolic in the story. Then we are introduced to the grandson of Mahmood that is Ali. Ali comes to Mahmood to tell him that his kite was stuck in the branches of the banyan tree and Mahmood who is an expert kite maker. He consoles Ali and says that he will make another kite for him. So very soon he makes another kite for him. Ali feels so happy and very soon he goes out with the new kite and he also says that he will not lose that beautiful kite. Now when Mahmood makes kite for Ali, he becomes nostalgic. He uh, remem remembers the good old days when he used to make kites because he was a kite maker. He was an expert kite maker and he also uh, remembers how he was patronized by the Nawab. Then we come to know that he talks about the dragon kite which was made by him on the special demand of Nawab. The most important thing here is to notice the description of the dragon kite, how he uh, describes it in great detail and how it soars high in the sky. He flew the kite in an open ground in presence of a huge crowd and the Nawab. So here we can see that how he loved making kites and how people also had enough leisure time in those days because one of the major themes that the writer has uh, tried to bring out is about the change in present day and the change that you can see that how people have become materialistic because of the modern world and the days when Mahmood was a kite maker that is when he was young he used to make kites in those days how people loved to spend their leisure time in sports like kite flying they had enough time talking with each other and they were also concerned for each other so here you can see that there is a sharp contrast between uh, materialism where people are just worried about uh, materialistic things they just want to accumulate more and more materialistic things they do not worry about uh, what is the problem of their neighbor they are not concerned at all about the well-being of the near and dear ones whereas we come to know that Mahmood here also uh, talks about how people in the old days, they used to come to each other's house, they used to sit in the under the banyan tree. The banyan tree was a place whereby the people, they used to meet, they used to discuss about their problems and in this way it has a great symbolic meaning. Through the character of Ali and the kite maker Mahmood, the writer has tried to portray the old days when Mahmood used to live happily and how the people they used to meet together and they used to enjoy a lot and through Ali, uh, sorry, through Ali he has described how only a small child who is innocent and pure hearted only he loves playing with the kite and he uh, loves playing with his grandfather but elderly people especially his son if you see he doesn't have enough time because he goes to work another son lives in Pakistan and he also recalls the days when he used to fall sick and how the neighbors used to come to ask about his well-being but today he says that no one is worried about anybody even they do not know even people uh, in present times they do not know anything about their neighbor so this also shows that in materialistic world people are devoid of feelings and emotions for each other because uh, they have no enough time to think about all these things. Now we have already seen that Ali who was grandson of Mahmood, he loved flying kites and he loved the kites especially that were made by his grandfather Mahmood. But now Mahmood thinks about the days uh, when people loved flying kites and he says that people who used to fly kites as children they are now grown-ups and they are very busy with their lives 
and even children in present times he says that they don't have enough time to fly kites there are no more plain grounds whereby they can fly kites because the space has been occupied by the uh, buildings and children they love spending money on watching cinema so this again shows a great difference between the olden times and the present times how people they are wasting their time in useless things they don't have peace of mind they cannot enjoy their leisurely time then he also talks about the descendants of king who are poor like mahmud so we can say that how the writer has beautifully portrayed both the characters ali as well as mahmud now as we have already discussed in the beginning that uh, two special symbols are used one is kite and the other one is the banyan tree here as i told you that it has a symbolic meaning and it has been compared with mahmud who who has grown old the banyan tree also is very old and that's why you can see the comparison the lines are very significant the banyan tree is compared to hands of mahmud uh, they are gnarled and twisted like the roots of the banyan tree ali is compared with the young mimosa plant here we can see that ali is young mimosa plant also is young and mahmud thinks that after 2 years both of them will acquire enough strength then mahmud uh, feels sleepy towards the end of the story because ali is flying kite and now mahmud uh, recalling all those good old good days and thinking about the modern times when people are materialistic and they don't have enough time for each other he just feels sleepy as usually he used to and he also thinks that he doesn't have anything to leave for ali as a heirloom except a new kite that he can make for him so at least it gives him a kind of relief that at least he can make a kite for him because he was not a very rich person so he didn't have anything as a heirloom thinking about the kite uh, he again imagines that the kite is like the pious white bird of hindus so here mahmud compares the kite with garud garud is considered to be the steed of vishnu so here again we can see the symbolic meaning now towards the end of the story mahmud feels sleepy he heard ali's voice but it grew fainter and fainter he thought that it was coming from a far distant but ali was calling him from near the house just then ali entered into the courtyard to ask if his mother had returned from the bazaar but mahmud did not reply so ali came near him he repeated the question but he didn't get any answer and ali put his hand on mahmud's shoulder he heard his sigh and he felt very much afraid and he ran down the street to call his mother now here special mention has been made to butterfly when he was feeling asleep at that time butterfly settled on mahmud's bed and now the same butterfly uh, flies to the mimosa tree and we also here see a special mention to the torn kite that was lifted in the air due to a sudden gust of the wind and the flight is carried far above the struggling city into the blind blue sky so these lines are very much significant because here mahmud is no more in the world he left this materialistic world and in this way we can see that the themes of most of his stories they are related to mortality loneliness uh, change in order new order old order as we have seen how mahmud recalls how he becomes nostalgic about the good old days so here the last line specially contribute to the theme of mortality and loneliness hope you have understood the story thank you so much for watching the video